Hello, my sweet peeps. How are you guys doing today? I hope everybody are good. Yes, today one more day to learn and uh, with Daddy's company. Hi, Daddy. How are you doing today? I'm are doing good? good. Yes, I am. I am good. Um, I had a little accident, and that's why we haven't been here for a couple of days. Uh, I got something in my eye. Oh, when wow. Working on some job. But uh, just say, wear safety glasses whenever working around machinery. Because it hurts when you get something in your eye and you have to go to the hospital to get it out. Oh, but other than that, nose melting, that's great news. Yes. Yes, let's we'll see if we get more. We don't know. It could happen. But in any ways, hello, everybody. It's good to see everyone back. And I'm excited to learn some new phrases with you all. So how is Saw? And thank you for having me again. Oh, I really appreciate and so happy to be with you one more day. Yes, I had a really amazing day. Uh, I could walk on the beach and uh, dip in the water. It was really enjoyable and be with my parents also. Yes, yeah, so it was good and really good to be with you again. Yes. And Wonderful. with everybody, eh? Who follow us. For sure. Glad to see you and everyone. Yeah, so uh, let's see today all the vocabulary you need to be fluently and to have a good communication with native speakers. Let's see some more vocabularies, phrasal verbs, and uh, let's get started and in the end you have a quiz so are you ready daddy i am i'm so ready great could you read for us yes to take off when a plane leaves the ground or if someone is changing or getting in the shower you take off your clothes or you take off your shoes when you come in the house um, you jump in a plane and you're going somewhere. It's got to take off the ground to get in the air. Um, yeah, like we were talking and uh, we're hoping uh, Saw's business does really well and it is to take off and build a very big Great. business out of it. So to take off, to get going or taking off something is great. Go ahead, Saw. Yes, amazing. Uh, you have used already different situations, yes, to take mm -hmm. off, right? That's good. So, uh, to take off, what could I say about that one? Yes, this is uh, used when a flight leaves the ground. For example, tomorrow my flight takes off at 7 a.m. Or uh, that time... Uh, uh, the the flight you take off, and the other way, way is what time uh, do your flight leave? Now we also use this phrasal verb to talk about a person leaving a location. So we might uh, be at a party and it's getting late, and you have an early meeting, and you say. Example, thanks for the party. I'm going to take off. I'm going to leave. Or someone might ask you the example, what time did you take 
off last night? What time did you leave? Now, take off is also used to remove an item of clothing. So, at night, before you get into your pajamas, you take off your clothes, right? Before you get in uh, the shower, you take off your clothes. I can also take off my makeup, which means to remove, or if it's really hot in the room, we, you might say, oh, it's so hot in here. I need to take off my sweater. Or when you come into the house and it's cold out, you take off your jacket, you take off your shoes, you take off your hat, you take off your gloves, you take off your sunglasses. So you can take off an item of clothing, but you can also take off accessories like rings, uh, makeup, glasses as well. Take off can also mean to become successful. Yes, for example, after I improved my English speaking skills, my career really took off. My career became what successful my career took off i could say overnight my youtube channel took off that's my expectation and that is, that is expectation also my youtube ten channel become a successful more than a million of people so many different phrasal verbs we do take off, but they're all commonly used. So maybe make sure you learn all these individual meanings. Yes, Daddy, can you read for us those examples? To take Here? off, to become successful, to remove clothing, accessories, makeup, or glasses, etc. Um, yeah, to take off. I said to become successful. Yeah. After improved my English speaking skills, my career really took off. The spaceship took off this morning and headed to Mars. Okay, baby. All right. After I improved my... Oh, I already said all those, babe. My career really took off. Overnight, my YouTube channel took off. Yes, good. So, yes, we can use uh, to take off for four different reasons, yes? When a plane leaves the ground, when a person leaves a location, when you remove clothes, makeup, accessories, glasses, etc. When something becomes successful. Yes, something else to add, Daddy? Or let's move on. Let's move on. Yes. You can reach for us. To take after, to resemble someone in appearance or personality. Usually a family member, uh, aunt, uncle, my cousin, maybe, late cousin, old grandma, grandpa. But yeah, to take after, to mm -hmm. look uh, almost identical to someone or 
their personalities identical to someone um, of your siblings. Okay, so. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yes, uh, to take after, to take after someone, you re resemble them in personality or appearance, and this, this, it's most uh, usually uh, with family member. For example, it's very common a son take after his dad, which means he looks like him. They look very similar, but you might also say, Julie is so funny. She really takes after Uncle Frank. So maybe Uncle Frank is really funny. He's always telling these hilarious jokes. And then Julie is also really funny. She takes after Uncle Frank. So you can use this with personality or appearance. Yes, you can read the next, Daddy. To take apart, to disassemble, or uh, just break it apart, <laughs> to take apart. No, yeah, just to take something apart. Like uh, when I was younger, I used to take everything apart just to see how it worked. Oh, of because I'm glad you are so good in what you do, yes? In your garage. Yeah. Uh -huh. yeah. To fix things. Yeah, because I've been doing you know, it ever I since. I know, why? Yeah. I would take apart stereos, radios, remote control cars. And I just want to build stuff all the time. So, yeah, but to take apart, um, I guess you could maybe mistake that it's fall apart, but no, it's just take apart. It's different. So, mm -hmm. yeah. go ahead, Saw. Yes. Yes. Good. A good example. Yes, to take apart. When you take something apart, you disassemble it. So it goes from being whole, one complete item, and then you disassemble it into individual parts. So if your car isn't working, you might take apart the motor or take apart the engine to try to figure out what the problem is. You might also take apart a desk for uh, take apart a bed when you're getting rid of it, when you're removing it from your home because it's easier to move when it's in individual parts, right? Rather than one big structure. And the next, Daddy. To is... take back, to return something you purchased to the store for a refund. As in, like, today I had to go back to Walmart and take back, um, it was a dog feeder, an automated dog feeder, but I wanted the automated water feeder. So I had to take it back and return it to get something new. Yeah, it's good. Uh -huh. Go ahead, Saw. Okay. Yeah, has this next one to take it back is uh it means that you it means you return a purchased item 
uh, through the store for a refund. So, let's say you bought a pair of shoes at the store. You come home and you realize that they don't fit very well or you just uh, don't really like them. Well, you can take them back. So, you go to the store, you return the shoes, and you get your money back. Now, we only use this when you physically go to the store. So, we, uh, with online purchases, we actually don't use the phrasal verb take back, right? So, if you order something from Amazon and you don't like it and you want a refund, we simply say, example, I returned the shoes I bought from Amazon or the other example, I sent back, I sent back the shoes. So just keep that in mind. Yes, we only use take back when we physically go to the store. You can also take someone back. It means that when you reunite a previous romantic relationship. So let's say that Rob and Julie were a couple last year, but then they broke up. They ended their relationship. But then Rob, he begs Julie, please take me back. Please accept me again as your romantic partner. Please take me back. But Julie's friend might say, don't take Rob back. Why would you take Rob back? You shouldn't take Rob back. And now, Daddy, can you read? Can you read for us these examples, Daddy? Oh, Daddy, are you there? Oh, not. Not uh, good. Uh, let me see. So to take on, <laughs> to accept responsibility for a project or a task. As in, uh, my neighbor has a trailer and he wants it redone. And I told him, well, I'll take on that job. I need something to do during the winter. So to take on, yes. Um, let's go ahead some saw. Good, yes. Okay. Uh, are you are you okay? You good, Jess? Yes, I am good. Okay. <laughs> let's <laughs> go ahead. So, yes, that one uh, uh, should take on. When you take on a project or a task, it simply means that you accept that project or task. For example, your boss might ask the team, who has time to take this on? Who has time to take it on this new project? or this new client, 
and you might say, I can take it on, I can take it on. So you can accept that responsibility for that job. You can also take over a responsibility, a project, a task, which means that you assume responsibility from another person. So let's say Julie took on the project, but then Julie decided to go on a three week vacation. So your boss might ask you to take over. So the responsibility goes from Julie to you. Hey, Mary, can you take over this project while Julie's on vacation? Or it can be you just take over this project so it can be permanent. It becomes your project permanently or it can just be a temporary situation while someone is uh, is on vacation. Yes? Daddy, could you read that part? To take over, to assume responsibility for a project or a task from someone else or another business or so. Yes, yeah, so um, I got to leave here soon. So, Saul, could you take over and make sure you get this taken care of for me? Yeah, it's a good one. To take over. Yes. Or, yeah. Okay, good. And to the next. To take out. To invite someone to dinner or anything activity or another activity and pay for that person as in would you like to go to dinner i take you out and we go eat somewhere yes <laughs> yeah or you could say um I order takeout i would like to order some takeout and um say Oh, can you go take out the trash, please? You need to take out the trash. No. Uh -huh. Yeah. Um, yeah. So what else you got, Saw? Go ahead. Take over. Yes. Great examples. When you take someone out, it means you invite them for an activity such as having a meal together or going to the movies together, but you pay for that activity. For example, let's say it's your birthday. Well, your husband, your best friend, your mother, your sister might take you out for dinner, which means they invite you for dinner and they also pay for dinner. That's the important part. Or they might take you out for a nice uh, night at the movies and you go to the movies together or maybe to the amusement park. So you can do other activities, but it's mainly used with meals. So maybe your friend says, why would you take Rob back? Why would you take Rob back? He didn't even take you out for your birthday. Oh, he didn't invite you out for dinner. 
and then pay for that meal. You can take out use that one in that context. Daddy, can you read that part? Yeah, it's, why would you want to take Rob back? He didn't even take you out for your birthday. He didn't, he didn't even take you out to do anything. And so he's no fun. Don't take him back. To invite yeah. someone to dinner, yes. So don't. Don't take Rob back. <laughs> to take up. To begin a new hobby or activity. Like uh, I, I started a new hobby, so I, I needed to take up a hobby. I was being lazy on my days off, so I picked up a new hobby. So I take up a hobby. Um, yeah, to take up uh, activity like sports. I'd like to take up some kind of sport, uh, like football or baseball or soccer. Yeah, so go ahead, Saul, take over. Mm -hmm. Great, yes. We say in uh, Brazil, football, that means soccer, but you guys say soccer for football that we mentioned in Brazil. But uh, American football is, is different, yes? yes. And uh, so, uh, eh, j just different words, yes? And different meanings also. So, okay. Yes, uh, this uh, take up, yes, begin a new hobby or activity. It means you start this new hobby or activity so you can tell your friends example i decided to take up karate which means you decided to start karate lessons as a new hobby or activity mm -hmm. Or your friend might say, I didn't know you took up dancing. I didn't know you started dancing as a hobby or activity. Yes, so are you ready for your final quiz? Here, let's do it. Yes, yes, okay. Mm -hmm. Then let's go ahead, yes, with this part. Here are the questions. So go ahead and hit pause, complete the quiz, uh, take as much time as you need. And when you're ready, hit play to see the answers. Here are the answers. So hit pause and reveal these answers to see how well you did. Awesome job expanding your vocabulary with so many phrasal verbs. Now, let's help you add some more advanced adjectives to your vocabulary in the next class, yes? So tomorrow, you're going to learn 100 advanced adjectives to describe personalities. Yes, so see you guys tomorrow. I hope you don't forget to subscribe in our channel. Yes, Daddy.
Yes. And um, thanks for you all coming. And I uh, hope to see you again tomorrow. And yes, subscribe to the channel. And um, yeah, if any questions or any good advice for us, go ahead and uh, jot that down for us in our little box and uh, we'll take care of it. So thanks again for coming. Bye-bye now. Yes, thanks again for coming. Bye-bye, see you soon. Thanks daddy for one more day. And see you soon in the next yes. class. Actually, no. <laughs> see you. Bye-bye.